Hi, I'm Matt, and lately I've been wondering, is there a secret race of reptile people controlling our governments and enslaving humanity? We'll see. Since I was a child, I've been naturally inquisitive, questioning anything and everything that didn't quite make sense. As I grew, I poured countless hours into a number of conspiracy theories. Some of these theories I believe and some of these theories I don't, but some of them I do. Here I'll be studying the evidence for and against all of history's mysteries, doing the work so you don't have to but you really should do it on your own, like check sources and all that, okay. On today's episode, Reptilian Conspiracy. If you've been paying attention, you might have heard more and more references to a clandestine reptilian humanoid race. Sound familiar? It's shown up in pop culture with increasing regularity. You've heard it on podcasts, in politics. The theory has even infiltrated the hit romance reality show, Love Island. Just what are all these people talking about? Let's get into it. Okay, so as with nearly any conspiracy theory, there are usually variations in belief, but for the most part, the theory posits that there is a race of reptilians, or lizard people, if you will, and you should, that work in secret to dominate and rule over humans like you and me. Now, while the suggested origin of these lizard people varies from theorist to theorist, some say that they're from Earth, some say that they're from space, some say that they started on Earth, went to space, and came back, the one thing that most folks agree on is that these motherfuckers are evil. So how do these lizard folk go from ruling in secret to getting brought up in Love Island casual contestant conversation? Well, the Reptoids can thank former soccer player, sports reporter, and hot take haver David Ick for absolutely and utterly blowing up their spot. It's also worth noting now that David Ick's ideas are kind of problematic and borderline prejudice, but we'll get to that later. In 1998, David Ick released a book called The Biggest Secret, where two people he interviewed claimed that the British royal family were not in fact humans, but lizard people. Ick also claims that George W. Bush, Henry Kissinger, Bill, and Hillary Clinton, and Bob Hope are lizard people as well. Ick says that the reptoids are responsible for the JFK assassination, Princess Diana's death, and even 9-11. According to Ick, the Anunnaki, an ancient species of prehistoric alien demigods, came from the Orion, Sirius, and Draco constellations, created humans, and then created a reptilian-human hybrid. Making sense? Right. Additionally, Ick suggests that lizard people drink human blood, which allows them to shapeshift into human form, allowing them to, I guess, then become a vaudeville legend and have an airport named after them. Ick has written that presidents and prime ministers have either been lizard people themselves or have been possessed or controlled by lizard people, and that they have had control over powerful offices since ancient times. Like when Shrek 1 came out. Pretty heavy stuff, right? So what is there that even supports these wild-ass claims? Well, a little bit. Kind of. Maybe. Now, while I'm not all in on the reptilian theory just yet, I will say that it's not untrue that some very powerful people objectively look like lizards. And if you watch enough footage of politicians and high-level CEOs, you will find at least a few frames of them doing odd things. Now, maybe that's because to achieve a high level of success, you kind of just have to throw out being an altogether normal person. Or maybe they're lizard people. What's most interesting is that, and this is a fact, is that a lot of US presidents and very powerful people are related, very distantly, but related. For example, President Barack Obama is a distant cousin of the Bushes, Gerald Ford, Lyndon B. Johnson, Harry Truman, and James Madison, as well as Winston Churchill. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt was related, again very distantly, to 11 other U.S. presidents, including Madison, both Adams, Van Buren, Harrison, Taylor, Grant, the other Harrison, Taft, and of course, the other Roosevelt. I mean, his own wife, Eleanor, was his fifth cousin. Hell, according to genealogy experts at genie.com, you go back far enough, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are related, 19th cousins. So is that evidence of ancient reptilian bloodlines secretly infiltrating and controlling our government? Or is it just kinda, you know, how ancestry works? I don't know. Either way, you're gonna wanna know how to spot a reptoid. And that brings us to board time. Hiya! So let's start with the easy shit, okay? Avi dead giveaways that you're talking to a lizard. We got the forked, tongue. Blue or green scales instead of skin. They lay eggs. But those are easy. According to one source at Alien Hub, there are more subtle signs that someone is a lizard person or have been possessed by one. Reddish hair. I didn't say it, they did. Keen eyesight or hearing. If I had keen eyesight, I would be wearing glasses to throw people off. Low blood pressure. Everything's chill, dude. ESP. UFO connections. A love of space or science. Space. 
A predominance of green or hazel eyes that can change color. A sense of not belonging to the human race. Oh, I don't belong to the human race. A deep compassion for the fate of mankind. Boop, boop. Unexplained scars on the body. An affinity for those chalky Valentine's Day hearts. That's not actually on the list, but who likes those? But even without that, many powerful people exhibit many of these signs, but does that make them lizard people? Okay, so here's a conspiracy theory pro tip, and this goes for nearly any conspiracy theory. If you present evidence in the right order and don't present evidence against, you can make a compelling case. So now let's talk about the problem. Back to David Icke, the leading reptilian conspiracy theorist. He was a famous soccer player in the UK who had to retire after developing arthritis at age 21. He became political and joined the Green Party as a spokesman in the 1980. He resigned from the Green Party in the early 1990s, which later banned him, and he toured the country telling people he was the son of the Godhead, and was generally laughed out of good favor in the UK. His theories have often been labeled as anti-Semitic. While some of the people on the list aren't Jewish, Icke has stated that the Rothschilds, a prominent and influential Jewish family, are actually blood-sucking reptilians. It claims that he's not criticizing real Jews, just many lizard people posing as Jews. These are his words, not mine. He's also been labeled a Holocaust denier, positing both that Jews may have funded the Holocaust or that it didn't happen at all. In addition to that mess, there also might be a scientific reason why we might just not like snakes to begin with, making us very susceptible to a fear of a reptile-human hybrid. In 2013, scientists discovered that we have certain neurons in our brains that only respond to snakes. According to their research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, these neurons were very important to our early ancestors who had to be wary of snakes when they were a major threat to survival. In a small study in 2014, EEG meters were used to track subjects' brain activity when shown photos of snakes. Snakes. The study showed what we already know. People, for the most part, don't like snakes. Could this be evidence of a possible counter theory that we're predisposed to be scared of reptiles and therefore more likely to be paranoid about lizard people? I think so. So are we under the rule of a bloodline of reptilian aliens intent on sucking our human blood and shape-shifting their way into our hearts and minds? Or is this just, and excuse my language, a bunch of horse apples? We may never know for sure, but watching what our politicians do with our tax dollars isn't the worst idea. And maybe when you're watching that, you can keep an eye out for lizard tongues. Or anything else on this list. Matt, you have a lot of those traits. <laughs>